to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit different from what you've been seeing on my channel so far. Today's video is going to be a beauty haul and normally I've only posted vlogs on the channel and initially my plan with this YouTube channel was to have both vlogs which I really love doing but also these sit down videos where I just sit down in front of the camera. So these past few weeks I've just been going crazy over here in the US. I mean moving from a European country where we don't have so many products that you do over here in the States have really just put me in this crazy shopping frenzy and I have been out buying so many things that I felt like I needed. So if you want to see what I bought recently, just keep watching and we'll get started with the haul. So the first things that I wanted to show you that I bought in the US are some hair care products. So I bought this shampoo and conditioner. This is the Argonaut of Morocco shampoo and conditioner. And I have just been, you know, wanting to get these for such a long time. I think the packaging is super cute. I really love the blue color and I love Argan oil. So I thought these must be really, really nice. And they were on sale at CVS. I think they were five and a half dollars each, which is a really great price. I can't believe they were so inexpensive. The smell is absolutely incredible. Mm, it makes me so happy to smell them. So moving on to a brand that I've never heard before, but I stumbled upon this beautiful display in Walgreens, I think it was. First thing that I picked up was this number seven beautifully matte makeup base. So this is a base for your makeup or a primer if you want to call it that. And this one is mattifying, so that means it takes care of all the oily skin you have going on. I actually bought this because I thought I had very oily skin, but I think what I was experiencing was just, was just sweating a lot because I was in sunny California. I really like the packaging. I think it's super sleek and very cool. So the next thing I picked up from number seven is this Protect and Perfect Foundation. Younger looking skin, it says. This was actually kind of a mistake as well, and I want to tell you why. I was trying them all out. They had these testers of this exact foundation there. And I tried their lightest or next to lightest color and I really, really liked it and I just, you know, grabbed the one that I thought was <laughs> the color that I had tried out. But it turned out to be this one, which is their color. I think it's called Cabrio or something like that. And I just feel like it's too dark for my skin tone, which is a shame because it's really a nice uh, foundation. So this one was just placed in the wrong little aisle. You know, they had them all lined up there um, at Walgreens. And I just think this was misplaced. So I ended up getting this because I didn't check the packaging. Stupid. So the last product that I picked up from number seven is actually my favorite one of them. So it's this little thing. This is their bronzer. So it looks like this. That It's a, co a combination of four different colors and you sort of just swirl your brush around and then you put it on. It's really shiny and it's really pretty and I just really love it. And I dropped it so it's kind of broken, but I think I sort of pushed it into place again. It is really nice and really pretty colors. This one is the one called the Caramel. This was like, I don't know, nine dollars maybe. So let's move on to brushes. I picked up three different brushes from e.l.f. So e.l.f. has brushes that only cost three dollars each. So I was kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna try these out. And if they suck, they have to suck and that's just it, you know. I just wanted to try out something else. So the first brush that I picked up was this small stipple brush. I have seen so many YouTube videos where they use stipple brushes and I didn't have any so I thought I wanted to try this out. I really enjoy this actually. It's kind of pointy right now because I just washed it so it's not really dry yet. I have been using this so much over the past few weeks and uh, really loving this. The next brush that I got is this angled blush brush. <laughs> Blush brush, that's not easy to say. This is a brush that I can use for my blush, obviously. Before, I was just using my powder brush and sort of just, you know, dipping it in my blush and then throwing it out afterwards. And it didn't really work out so well for me. Also because my powder brush is way too big. So I kind of like squeeze it and try to, you know, apply it correctly. So I thought, what the heck? This turns out to be a very great purchase. I'm using this every day uh, and I really love it. 
So the last e.l.f. brush that I picked up was this e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. So what I wanted to do was kind of get into the habit of applying my eyeliner with a gel eyeliner instead of liquid eyeliner that I've been using for ages. So I also got a gel liner that I'm going to show you in just a second. I just wanted to get back to this brush because I don't know, I think it's a bit too fluffy to really use for precision and really use to make that very nice wing. So this is not really good so I thought okay the three dollars that I spent on the brushes maybe this was a bit too cheap to expect something amazing out of it. So to sort of make up for my bad purchase of this brush I went into MAC and I bought their precision eyeliner brush. This is the MAC 210 brush. It's super tiny and it is way better at applying your gel liner with. So this one compared to this one, this one was $20 and this one was $3. So obviously this one was way more expensive but it's also way better and I find that it's more easy to achieve that precision with this eyeliner brush and I'm just really enjoying this. I'm using this every day. Okay, so kind of in that same ball game, I have a gel liner that I want to show you that I also picked up. So this is the L'Oreal Black is Black liner. And I have been hearing so many great things about this one that I just really wanted to get it. It's just a normal gel liner. I think this was really inexpensive. It was like $10, maybe even below $10. And I am just really enjoying using this. I think this is a great product for the price. I kind of want to try out the MAC gel liners just to see how well the brush that I have goes with their own liners. But this one I find is a really nice eyeliner. It makes my lines really smooth, and very black and intense. And I really love that about it. So let's move on to concealer and the products that I use under my eyes to hide my dark circles. The first product that I want to show you is this NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector that I picked up. I use this mostly as a corrector because I have so blue, very dark circles under my eyes, um, which I'm very insecure about and I constantly try to find the most perfect product to kind of cover them up. And even now when I have so much makeup on, I'm sure you can still tell that I have horrible under eye circles. So that is just a bummer for me, but this one I find really helps me out a lot with my dark circles. It has this very nice peachy color which really helps correct that blueness that I have under my eyes. I'm pretty sure it has coconut oil in it. It's super smooth, it doesn't cake under your eyes, it doesn't dry out your eye area which you definitely don't want. So I think I got this for only $5 so this is super inexpensive and it's really really great to use. I really love it. So next up is a concealer that I picked up from Maybelline New York. This is the Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer. I picked this up in a pretty light color just because I wanted to have a brightening concealer that I could put under my eyes to really brighten up the area. I find that this concealer has really great coverage. I got this in the color Fair. So this is like super pale, which is me obviously. Huge thumbs up for this um, Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer by Maybelline Dior. Love it. Next up are two powders that are both from NYX. So the first one is this NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. So a little story to why I wanted to get this specifically. I used to love the Makeup Forever HD Powder that kind of looks exactly like this. What it contains is just 100% silica powder and this one only contains silica powder as well and I really love the powder that I have from Makeup Forever um, so I thought it might, it might just be the same thing and I kind of feel like it is. The only thing that I don't like about this one compared to the Makeup Forever one is that this one really has um, a very bad applicator so this has these little holes just there in the front and I just find that it's kind of hard to to not get too much product on your brush. Okay, so next up is this NYX powder. This is also one of their HD finishing powders. So this one is the banana powder and it has a yellow tone to it. I think it's really, really pretty. And I have been using this mostly just under my eyes. Again, I really want to brighten up that area, so I just use a little bit of this and I just dab it on like very lightly. I don't want to rub anything around down there because that just messes up my concealer. And I just want everything to like sit into place perfectly. I think these are only like $5, maybe a little bit more. They're really, really cool. 
So speaking with the NYX products, I have two more makeup products from NYX that I really wanted to show you. So the first one is this Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color 631 Sparkle Leopard, which is a super cool name. I think this color is really, really pretty. It, it's kind of like a cover color. It has lots of sparkles in it. The only problem that I have with this is actually that it sort of sticks up in my crease here um, at the end of the day, and that is just super annoying. So I kind of, I'm kind of looking for a perfect eye primer that could help me fix that problem because I just hate it. So next up is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the color Peaches and Cream. I originally picked this up because I wanted a lip color that is a very light, um, flirtish, peachy color. But the problem with this is when I got home and I opened it, this is just, it comes off super pink. Like, too pink for my taste. I just think I am going to look like a Barbie doll if I ever wear this color on my lips. I'm not going to use this a whole lot because it's just too pink for me. Moving on to my very last cheap drugstore uh, product. This is a blush palette from e.l.f. It looks like this. Very nice colors. I've been using this and this together most, but I think that all the colors are very pretty. So all of these are like matte colors. This has uh, glitter in it. I think it's really cool to get this many colors of blushes because before this, I normally would just buy one blush and then have that only one color. So buying this palette really just gives me four new colors to my collection and I really like that about it. So let's move on to a more expensive product, finally. This is the Dior, uh, Dior Show Blackout Mascara. A friend recommended me to get this because this is like her go-to mascara. I've been having quite a few problems with this mascara. I don't know what it is, but I feel like this mascara just puts on way too much product on the brush. And even though I try to like scrape it off before I put it on my eyelashes, I just feel like my eyelashes just end up sticking together and looks terrible. It looks like I'm 14 again. I'm trying to do my makeup for the first time. So I don't understand the hype, I must say. It doesn't work for my lashes at least. It was a super expensive mascara and I really wanted to love it, but I just can't at the moment. Okay, so next is something that I'm really excited about. I picked up this contour cream kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You've probably seen this contour kit everywhere because these are just so popular and Anastasia is really great at doing her Instagram and she constantly shares this video of these gorgeous girls that are like doing the contour and they look very fabulous. I find that contouring is not as easy as it looks. I just really haven't been having the best results with this palette yet. Um, I think that I might just, you know, continue and try to use it because I really like the contoured look. But for me, it's just really hard to achieve and I'm not sure I'm really doing it correctly. So I have to maybe go back and watch a few more videos about it. Okay, so lastly, I have two products from... Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. Normally, I would never go into a store like Lush. I think that their products have a weird um, flowery smell. I think they kind of smell like grandma most of their products, which is a terrible thing to say. I know that these products are super hype right now. I always see like tons of girls in their stores and you can't really get to speak to any of the people working there because there are just so many customers. They must be making a shitload of money, so good for them. What I wanted to go in there and purchase were their bath bonds. I don't know if you've seen them, like you just put them into your tub and they just kind of like explode in a mix of beautiful colors and smells and I was just like, I need to try that out for myself. So I got two bath bombs and I got the ones that I felt smelled the least like grandma. The first one that I picked up and this is a really pretty one. Um, it's a really pretty pink with three little flowers there at the top. It smells, it's okay I would say. It, it kind of smells like pink, you know that like smell of pink? I feel like it smells like pink. Maybe like flowers or something like that. I'm really bad at describing smells, by the way. So I have one more for you. It says bomb on it. I have a bomb in the house, baby. So this is a very pretty light blue. This one smells more fresh, like ocean fresh. That's kind of like what this smells like. So we actually do have a bathtub here in our new apartment. I can't wait to try these out. I think they're going to be so much fun. Okay guys, so that was my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I do realize that I had a lot of products. I do realize that 
this video is possibly very, very long. I've written the names of the products in the description box down below. If there are any products that you really want to check out more for yourself, um, you can find links and descriptions and names and everything down there. It would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel because I kind of sit every day and count my subscribers and feel really happy about it. I get super sad when somebody thumbs it down, so please don't do that. But anyways, that was my haul video. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon here on the channel. Bye!